Hey, how's it going again, guys? Uh, just wanted to thank you for uh, the great reaction to the video that I created for you guys yesterday. I um, just want to say thank you for that. It was very, the video took me a long time to edit and process, and I really thank you for just enjoying that content that I just created there for you yesterday. Um, mainly, this video is just about like thoughts, and uh, it's mainly pertaining to the thoughts that I was talking to about yesterday in my movie review specifically pertain you know, to how the, the meaning of the Civil War is today. Because um, now you know you look at different issues with specifically pertaining to any meaning of the Civil War. It's really it's really hard to, uh, to try to digest too, especially me as a history major where you have to literally try to figure out uh, how to come to terms and deal with your past. And I've been thinking about that a lot these past days. Especially now with the whole recent issues of 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 um, um, the relations between the police and the black community, it's very very hard and complicated issue because it always pertains, you know, to the whole issue of race and of you know of anything that people um, have to have issues and uh, debates over. And uh, I just kind of feel, you know, that some war is kind of not really a sense of, of, um, I don't want to say this, it's not a sense, it's not a sense of how, you know, people certainly deal with certain issues, it's how, you know, back in the past, how you come to terms and agree with that, I probably know I repeated that, um, but it's just really complicated, and I just sometimes, you know, wish that, um, issues like this could be sorted out. And specifically also toward, um, um, you know, how, just how people have different motivations and different uh, reactions to certain events. And, uh, I also think the Civil War was also just that, you know, and it's really, really torn me inside too, personally, just to, you know, be torn over issues like these and just to be, you know, um, just trying to recognize my history and trying to recognize what, um, what has just been going on, <laughs> you know, and it's, it's just really, it's really tough. And, uh, it's also just a term and issue where, where, again, I don't repeat this, but I got to learn how to come to terms and grips with that. But also realize that I'm not responsible for what my ancestors did. I'm not. Res I'm not responsible for that. And you know, it's just one thing too when you look at U.S. history. Um, everybody over exemplifies people in certain ways where people just we can't just realize then that you know Ulysses Grant was human, Robert E. Lee was human, George Washington was human, <laughs> you know, and Alexander Hamilton, John Adams, they were all human. But we over exemplify them and deify them. In certain ways that you know kind of lose a kind of a grip with me a lot i know it's probably getting off topic but it's just a thing that's been going on in my mind in the last couple of hours couple of days and it's just really um it's really hard to come it's really hard <laughs> and i'm struggling with that i don't want to be turned as some ignorant uh redneck conservative even though i i do consider myself a conservative even though of recent events i've I've really just been, I've been on the middle right and I just don't, you know, I don't want to be a partisan, playing a partisan politics anymore where history gets intertwined with that. That really makes me mad as a history major where you have to intertwine historical uh, realities to uh, political opinions. That's just not my thing. And I don't, I, history is meant to educate, not to use as a political opinion, to advance a certain cause or agenda. And I just really wish you know, a lot of people just stop doing that, you know, because we all want to have our own interpretations and our own stories and our own, our own, um, life experiences and our own, you know, we want to have our own grand adventure, you know, but we got to realize too that there's going to be hurdles along the way. And I, I sound hypocritical because I haven't, I need to learn how to persevere through things like hurdles in my life. And it's just really, you know, 
And that's why I love U.S. history. It teaches me about not just about that my country's past, my ancestors' past, but about my how I should live my life, you know, and thank God for that. And it's, you know, I just love history, man. I just, I just love it. There's so many colorful characters in all of history, not just the U.S. But it's just one thing where, you know, people have got to come to terms with it and just, you know, erasing history is not really erasing history. History is meant to be remembered. Um, Again, on the whole statue issue, I'm torn on that because, you know, as I, as I told many people, those statues were erected at a time when segregation and Jim Crow laws were at its highest peak, especially in the 1910s, 1920s, and 1960s. And most of them were given by leaders of the Ku Klux, Ku Klux Klan and other white um, supremacists or nationalist groups. And it's really just, you know, it gets to a point where I'm sick and tired of it, of seeing that, you know, that's this still, race is still an issue and how it just, you know, pertains to that. And I'm not buying the whole, it was fought about states, it was fought about states' rights. I don't still buy that at all. I don't buy into the lost cause myth, mythos of Southerners. I don't buy into it, you know. And then people try to convince me, you know, oh, well, you, you got to you gotta make sure that this history, yeah, well, it's important to remember our history, but statues are really not meant to remember history, their more intensive purposes are just more to glorify people. And you may have heard that before, and I know it sounds like an old debate, but it's just... I just wish that, hope that, hopefully that people can realize our history, what the real history is, and not just pertain to myths and uh, myth mythological fallacy stories. Um, you know, it's just... I've been going on for too long. <laughs> I'm just trying to get my thoughts out to you guys just so I can give you some thoughts on what I've been thinking about the review too and also to relate to U.S. history and just, you know, um, doing that, you know, because you got to, you got to come to terms with the past. You can't, you can't just whitewash it. You can't just deny it. You got to come to terms with it and be, ma be mature about it and well out the ways it is, you know, and just think about how it feels and affects those people. If you know what I'm saying, because I don't really, you know, you know, it's, you know, anyways, uh, those are just my thoughts I want to give you guys today. Thank you so much for watching this video. I thank you for that. If you like this video, give it a like. If you want to subscribe to my channel, you'll get more, more contents on the way. I'm announcing that I'm almost done with a book that an author suggested to me about an assistant surgeon's experience during the Civil War. That is going to be up soon. Um, I'm going to give you more content along that way. And then possibly I can teach you guys about a military campaign or Civil War or talk about an individual unit or just an individual <laughs> and just give you guys some education on that. As you can see, my new name is U.S. History Buff now. It's no longer Bookmaster. It's U.S. History Buff because I just love U.S. History. And, and that's my new model is I'm teaching a U.S. History one video at a time. So I'm a U.S. history buff. I'll see you guys later. Have a blessed day.